What's up, what's going on legends? It's your boy Earl Shatter here, and in today's video, we're going to be talking about the one weapon here in Modern Warfare that could really use a buff. It's an assault rifle. It's a weapon that a lot of people truly enjoy, and they believe that it's actually a great weapon. However, it is just very underwhelming compared to the rest of the weapons in its class. Now, that weapon is going to be the M13. But before we jump into the rest of the video, if you guys do enjoy this content at any time, make sure you guys go down below and show your support for the channel by smashing that like button. Let's go ahead and throw that goal of 50 likes on today's video. Also, if you guys are interested in finding your way back to the channel and want to be a part of the journey to 3,000 subscribers, we have less than 50 to go till we hit 3,000. So make sure you smash that subscribe button alongside that notification bell so you don't miss out on any future content. Now, like I was saying, there is a lot of you out there that probably really enjoy this gun. I've had quite a few people say, no, this gun is really good. It act absolutely melts. Things of that nature. I will say the weapon is overall a decent weapon. However, it is a high rate of fire, so you tend to run through ammo really quickly. The other thing is, when you compare it to something like the M4, or the AK-47, or even the SCAR, I don't think it really can compete. It's just not on the same level. The one thing about it that's pretty interesting is it seems like it would be better as an SMG. The one thing about it is it would actually outclass any of the SMGs in the range category. I'm not gonna lie, in the beta, I overall enjoyed using this weapon. I felt like this weapon was pretty solid across the board. But in the beta, of course, we don't have access to all the weapons, so we weren't able to try out everything. Before getting hands-on with this weapon, I had already used the Kilo, gotten that gold, the M4, gotten that gold, even the Scar, gotten that gold. And I've already max-leveled the AK-47 and the FAL. But after using all of those weapons and trying out the M13, it really just felt like the time to kill is extremely slow. If I'm being completely honest, it kind of felt like I was playing Black Ops 4 while using this weapon, only everybody else was still playing Modern Warfare. But basically, getting into a gunfight with an M4, an AK, any of the other assault rifles, and even some of the SMGs, just left me to feel disappointed, even if I was managing to hit all of my shots. I truly think for this weapon to feel a lot more balanced, they're going to have to really do a buff on it. It just doesn't fall in line with the rest of the assault rifles in the category. I do say that the Odin is probably almost just as bad as this weapon, but because the Odin can be a two-shot kill, I think it does have this weapon beat. I find that this weapon's biggest flaw is that it has a high rate of fire, which makes it feel like it would be a very decent weapon. However, the time to kill is so long that it feels like you run through your ammo super quick. The original magazine only allows you to have 30 rounds, which leaves you to be able to kill two or three people tops before having to reload. I found myself reloading quite a bit in this with this weapon, however, because I didn't want to be caught off guard. Sometimes I was losing as up to 10 bullets just taking out a single person. And honestly, a larger problem arises when it comes to range. This weapon does not do very well at range at all. Even if you manage to mount a window, it takes quite a few bullets to take out your opponent. Again, making you go through your ammunition very quickly. You can, of course, run an extended mag on this weapon. However, it doesn't make an extreme amount of difference. The reality is, when you compare this to many of the other weapons in the assault rifle category, it's just extremely underwhelming, and it just leaves you to want this gun to get a buff. Typically, assault rifles are supposed to be pretty decent at range. However, the M13 really falls short in this category, as it has that higher rate of fire, making it a little bit more difficult to hit shots on target. And even when you manage to hit the shots on target, again, those t that time to kill is just quite a bit slower than the other assault rifles. Another issue with the M13 is when you get into a gunfight with somebody using like the M4, AK-47, something with some serious power, you can have a very tough time trying to take them out making it very frustrating, especially when you come around the corner and maybe there's multiple opponents. Getting that multi-kill can sometimes be a challenge. I found that obviously the most success I had with this weapon was in close quarters combat, kind of treating it like an SMG. If you pretend like this is an assault rifle, like it is advertised here in the game, you will probably end up very disappointed and not have a lot of luck using this weapon. I will say, I even tried the ammo conversion for this gun, and it really just didn't seem to make a whole lot of difference. The gun's just underwhelming, it's kind of underpowered, and in its current state, I can't honestly say this weapon is very good. Now I know a lot of you out there love the M13, and you guys say that it melts, but the reality is, if you are truly comparing it to some of the other guns, such as the M4, the AK-47, the SCAR, it just doesn't compare to any of these weapons. If you truly believe that it does, go out there and try some of these other guns, and just tell me that it actually feels like it's just as good as some of those guns. The gameplay that I'm sharing with you guys in today's video is a very solid gameplay with the M13. We're going over a 20 gun streak, which is absolutely incredible. It's not to say that you can't do well with this weapon, like I said, and that's the point of sharing this gameplay. You guys can absolutely do well with it. Decent players are of course going to have good matches with it. It's not going to say that the gun is extremely terrible, but comparing it to the rest of the assault rifles, it absolutely needs a buff to be comparable at all, and to even compete. A good way to really improve the M13 would be to find a way to make it a little bit more powerful at range, 
maybe decrease the recoil just a tad due to the fact that it has that higher rate of fire, making it maybe a little bit easier to control for those long distance gunfights. The reality is, this gun truly struggles at range, making it hard to be a desirable assault rifle. I think a lot of the reason that people hype this weapon up so much and enjoying it at this time is because it is such a dominant gun in close quarters combat. If you compare it to some of the SMGs, it's definitely better, and it now does a lot of them at range. The fast rate of fire makes the close quarters combat absolutely dominant with this gun, but again, you run out of ammo so quickly. I truly believe with the right tweaks, the M13 is going to be a really good weapon here in Modern Warfare. We just have to hope that they address the fact that it is so weak at this time and give it the proper tweaks to really make it a more successful assault rifle. Now that's going to do it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you guys did, make sure you guys go down below and show your support for the channel by smashing that like button. Like I said earlier, we have that goal of 50 likes on today's video. Also, if you guys want to be part of the journey to 3,000 subscribers, we are less than 50 away from 3,000. So make sure you guys do hit that subscribe button and also that notification bell so you don't miss out on any future content. Appreciate you guys for all the support in today's video, all the support on the channel, and I hope to see you all in the next one. Peace!